Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. I'm going to show you how to set up sound modem so you'll be able to do packet through either a signal link or a radio sound card. If you think of it, click subscribe down below. That way you'll get messages about new videos when they come out. So with no further ado, sound modem. Hi everybody. It's Stu, AG6AG, and we're continuing our WinLink series with the installation of sound modem. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser, and I am going to download sound modem and also another program called EasyTerm from the same website. So I'm going to type in sound modem space and packet. All right. And I'm going to hit enter. And the top search result is uz7.ho.ua. And this is the uh, sound modem software that uh, was written by this very nice gentleman that uh, has put it all together, uz7ho. This site is outside of the United States, but uh, it is the right site for this software. So first place we're going, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we're going to find this download called soundmodem105.zip. And this is the install for soundmodem, and 105 is the latest version. Uh, go ahead and... Uh, at the time of this video, 105 is the latest version. It may be different now. Uh, this could be 106 or 10 or 110 or something like that. So whatever this is, sound modem and the number, that's what you want. And we're going to go ahead and click on it and go ahead and download it. Now, up above that is Easy Term 46. And Again, 46 is the version number, and that's, we want the easy term number number zip file. Okay, we're going to download that as well, just like that. Now, the installation of this is not like the normal installations that you're used to doing with Windows. You're actually going to copy the contents of this file out. So, uh, go ahead and click the sound modem zip file and it'll open up and I'm going to select extract right? and I'm going to extract all and it's going to ask me where I want to put it and I'm actually going to click browse and I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to my C drive and I am going to right hand mouse click I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it sound modem and I'm going to select that folder and I'm going to extract it and it's extracting the file while it's extracting it it's doing a virus scan on it sometimes this takes a little while um, there are some uh, things in there that look a little funny to the virus software because it actually wants to attach to sound devices and stuff like that. But you now see that I have this file in here under the sound modem directory under the C drive. Now, I'm going to make a shortcut for this on my desktop, and I'm going to do that by holding down the Alt key on my keyboard. And you notice when I do that, things change a little. And then I'm going to left hand grab sound modem, left mouse button, and drag it over and drop it on my desktop, and then release the alt key. And I now have a shortcut to sound modem. Just that easy. All right. Now I want to do the same thing with easy term. I'm going to open it. I'm going to say extract all. I'm going to browse my PC, C drive, right hand mouse click, new folder, I'm going to call this folder easy term. And I'm going to say select folder, then 
populates it up there and I'm going to extract it. And there we go. And again, we need to do the same thing. I'm going to have to hold down my Alt key, left click term. Just hold down on that left mouse button and grab it and drag it over. You see how it says create link in desktop? Drop it with my left mouse release and then release the Alt key and I'm all set to go. All right. So that's the basic install of the program, believe it or not. Uh, we're going to have to set it up. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Oh, through the magic of video, I'm on a machine that actually has a uh, sound card hooked to it. So let's go ahead and continue, all right? So I've got my two shortcuts here. I'm going to go ahead and launch Sound Modem, and we're going to configure it. So let me double-click it, and boom. Sound modem pops up. So we're going to go ahead and go here to settings, go to devices, and select the right sound card for our device. So I'm going to select the uh, USB audio codec. Now, this would also be the uh, device you'd probably choose for your uh, signal link if that's what you were using. But I happen to be using a 991, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the uh, speakers and microphone that's associated with the built-in uh, sound card in the 991. Now, really important, we want to check text rotation. We want to check single channel output. We want to color waterfall, at least I do. And I'm going to stop the waterfall on minimize. And I'm not going to do anything else. Oh, but in the server setup, I'm also going to check that I want to run KISS. And then under my push to talk, now if I'm running a signal link, I would just uncheck this and I'd be done. But I'm not. I'm running a uh, 991, so COM6 is the COM port that on, an R, on a high RTS will key the uh, radio. So I'm going to select COM6 and I'm going to say OK. And of course it says I need to restart. However, I want to finish up a couple other things. I want to just verify that I have the right modem selected. I'm going to be mod using modem A. I want to also make sure that KISS optimization is clicked. I know I'm going fast, so feel free to pause the video and you know look at this when I'm all done. I'll, I leave it up for a little bit so you can uh, compare your notes with the video open. And then with bit recovery, I just go to signal. Notice I haven't changed anything else on here. Basically, I've clicked KISS Optimization, and I've said Bit Recovery is Single. I'll click OK. All right. Well, there that is. All right. Now, I've got to close this, and then, of course, I have to reopen it. And there it is. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get a program up to test it with. That's what our term program is. So there's our term program. I'm going to go under settings and I'm going to go to station setup and my terminal call sign is my call sign. Right? My mailbox call sign, well, that's going to be my call with a SS, uh, um, SSID, like I'm going to make this one five. It's just for a test. All the setup's going to be blown off after the video. Um, and uh, let's see, the rest of this by default looks pretty good, right? Port 8000, which is what is the default settings in sound modem. And uh, our packet length at 80 looks really good. All right, of course it needs to restart. And I believe uh, that's all I need to set up. So we'll close it. And we will reopen it. Now, let's see. I've got my sound modem set up. I think I can use uh, this terminal program to connect to something. So, um, let's click on connect. Um, all right. So, let's go ahead and connect to a bulletin board system. Um, let's connect to... Uh, East County Sheriff Station, which is um, uh, our uh, one of our packet uh, BBSs here in Ventura County. 
So I've selected port one on the sound card A, right, sound modem A. And I'm just going to go connect. And oh, let me turn the volume up here. And uh, unfortunately, I can't turn on monitor so you can't hear my radio, but you hear the response. And here we go. Let's see if it works. Look at that. I am connected. So any command that I want to send in here, I've got to put down in this middle window. And I am going to, uh, let's see, let's list to see what's, uh, uh, what messages are on here, if any. Uh, looks like nobody's cleaned out the messages yet. But this is cool. We now have packet working. So we're all set to go. So the step after this, of course, in the next video I'm going to do is going to be interfacing this right here with Windling. So until then, 73. Well, that's it. I hope you found that simple to do. And guess what? The next video is going to be about interfacing sound modem with WinLink, so you'll be able to use FM Packet to send and receive your WinLink email. That's coming up. Oh, and don't forget, hit the subscribe button down below, and if you like the video, please click like. We love your input. Also, any questions, make some comments down below. I try to answer them as best as I can. This is Stu, AG6AG, and hope to hear you on the air.